is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, YouTube? This is Laxroxtope here, bringing back this year's edition of the Pac-12 Online Dynasty. Here are some of the users. That ain't it, Mr. Hurricane right there. Uh, you guys might know a couple of the other guys, like Utah, maybe Oregon State. Um, a couple of the players are returners. You'll also notice there isn't a Cal yet. He will be in next week. Um, he just, he wasn't in ready for this when I, when I had played. And you saw a couple of teams that I played. Um, it's preseason, so sorry, this video is going to be pretty long. As you can see, it's almost 11 minutes. Um, but, you know, showing you guys this kind of stuff, like where we're rated, what the standings are. So it took so long, I didn't actually show some recruiting. I'm planning on showing some recruiting in the next couple of videos. Well, obviously the next couple. The other installments of this uh, online dynasty uh, going on its fourth season now. But, yeah, there are the predicted Pac-12 standings and some other stuff. Toughest places to play. I was really disappointed that it took till 14 to get a Pac-12 school, and only two are in the top 25. We're all the way down at 92 at Martin Stadium, but, oh well, we're looking to improve that this year and just go undefeated. Our first game is against the other Cougars in the West, Brigham Young. We're traveling to Provo. They're trying to show them who the top cat is, and uh, it's going to be, you know, also interesting, Mike Leach's air raid offense coming back to the origins of the air raid. As you can see here, BYU starts out with the ball, and they'll get a big carry on the first play. And we already have a studio update. Upset, Marshall beats West Virginia by 14. That is a big upset, and not so good for uh, West Virginia. But here we go, BYU, they're not worried about that game. They're worried about this one, as Nelson hits APO on their first possession for a big opening statement for those of you that saw last year my opening play of the season was a kickoff return for a touchdown and this year it looked like it was going to be similar but the kicker or one of the runners runs me down on my side of the 50 and then Jeff Tool throws an interception he can't catch him pick six Washington State's first play with the air raid offense is a pick six not good wazoo and that will give the ball back to BYU in great position. Their all-star running back will pound it in there with a couple of broken tackles. BYU up 21-0 early. But Wilson making a big play because they know they needed it to get back in it. Tool will then hit Lentz, the tight end, in on the uh, post route for a touchdown. And that will put Wazoo back into a reasonable margin. But, you know, they got to get a stop here to make it look even better. I thought that was out of bounds, so I'll challenge it because the refs called it good. You can say whatever you think it is. It actually looks like it was a catch, but the refs call it a catch anyways. So BYU on their side of the 50, trying to punch in the end zone again, get that 21-point cushion back up. Now they're inside the 30 on a nice catch there. Nelson rolling out to his left. He'll hit Apo, who's having a pretty big game so far in the first quarter. And if you look at that score, 21-7, it's a, it's a pretty high-scoring first quarter. Sack there, and then sack again. Back-to-back -back sacks. It'll lead to a field goal. Wazoo holds them off. BYU 17-point lead here in the first quarter. And then... Jeff Tool throws his second interception to Ogletree this time. He'll take it down into the red zone. So BYU get the ball in their red zone to start. And they'll add one more touchdown here in the first quarter. 31-7 in the first quarter. BYU. Wazoo just not looking good and making stupid mistakes. And the defense is getting torched. Tool trying to make something happen here in the second half. He'll find Wilson who will pick up a first down. Wazoo starting to move the ball. Maybe there's a chance for a comeback. And then Tool throws his second interception to Ogletree, who almost picks six it, but luckily Williams and Galvin will chase him down to about the 15-yard line. Second and two, Mendenhall untouched while tucking into the end zone. Tool here avoids the pressure from the right, gets down, first down. 
Tool then hits Wilson. The corner safety went for the pick and left him open. Wilson making big play number one. Well, I guess number two had the deep ball earlier. And then Wazoo knows they need a defensive stop, and Horton comes up with the interception. Wazoo starting to build a little bit of a fire of a comeback here in the second quarter. Galvin picking up the first down. And now Wazoo making room, but on third and two, it hits Galvin in the back of the neck, and they'll have to be held to a field goal. But Washington State at least putting points on the board now and making some stops on defense. Big broken tackles here by Hoffman. Luckily, someone chases him down because he had a lot of green in front of him had he not gotten it. Nelson rolling out to his right. He's got all day across the field, finds Hoffman again on their side of the 50. Hoffman and Apo. Hoffman again breaking tackles with Apo right there. Those two are just torching the Wazoo secondary, which is not that bad. But Wilson torching the BYU secondary himself. Touchdown number two for Wilson. Another big play for him as he's coming up big. Big hit here. They hold him third and two. And that will lead it into halftime. Wazoo knows that they're going to come back. It's going to have to be on that guy. Wilson, first play of the second half for him. And Wilson open touchdown. Washington State. It's looking good for them as they pulled it into a two possession game after falling down by, I believe it was 34 points at one point. 31 7 at the end of the first quarter. He missed a wide open target there. Who knows what could have been to Wilson. But then he get, finds him wide open. Don't know how Wilson got open that much. But Tool will hook up on that every time. It's within seven. Washington State, almost as if they weren't getting killed in the first quarter, hanging in here against these Cougars. And they hold them the third down, and it is out of the back of the end zone, but the booth will replay it. They'll say he'll have his foot down. I still don't know about that one. So they'll give him a touchdown. BYU will take a 14-point lead. And uh-oh, Wazoo, because they missed that pick chance right there before that play. That one would have been helpful. But Tool looking deep. He'll find Lentz because the same safety got greedy and went for the pick. And Lentz will score. I will admit, we got a little lucky there. That one probably should have been picked. It was a bad pass, but we'll take the six. Clark diving too early. So we'll wipe down their tight end right there. Nelson. Oh, and Toomer misses another interception. Wazoo's got to start capitalizing on these if they want to hold them. But then Frail or Freel gets into the end zone there. 59-45. Wazoo back down by 14. And Tool will throw his fourth interception of the game. This time the Sorensen. He finally gets his pick after he got burned twice going for one. Then Alisa gets the handoff here. Picking up a big game, but he gets stripped. Wazoo can't fall on. It's Hoffman. Hoffman is just all over the place. Wazoo misses a third big play on defense. They'll pick up the first here. Tumor will also get charged with the face mask. It'll put them in good position. They hold on the third down. Nelson on the pitch, and he'll get in. Touchdown, 66-45. to Yeah, I know this score is high. Genie Gino Simone with the big pick right or inter ah not pick or interception the big reception and then Wilson in between the coverage I don't know how Tool hit him I'd say that's another lucky one but Wazoo 52 16 14 point game once again onside kick BYU will recover it Wazoo still has their three timeouts though and then a fumble but they can't recover it Wazoo cannot come up on defense in this game. Third and 16, holding them, and they let a touchdown. Are you kidding me? This secondary cannot stop them. But our receivers and quarterbacks can't be stopped as Marquise Wilson is just scorching this secondary. And then Myers will get one over the middle. He'll cut back and get the touchdown. 14-point game again, onside kick. BYU recovers. It would take a miracle, but Wazoo has been playing well recently. Third and 11. Somehow he breaks three tackles to pick up the first down. Oh my god. That will end it right there as Wazoo had another small chance at getting it. Wazoo will fall in this one, but what a comeback they tried to make. Almost came through. What a game that would have been, but Wazoo... Falls 0-1 to start this online dynasty. Not good. Not good at all. Not too worried about it because my offense got clicking, but i got to figure out that defense. And before anyone asks, it's on Heisman difficulty. 
with, uh, I forget what it is, but it's one of the Operation Sports uh, sliders. So it's no cheese ball status. This is all American, 73 to 59 score. Or Heisman, sorry, Heisman, 73 to 59 score. There you can see some of the numbers. Sorry it showed kind of cheesy deep balls the entire game, but, you know, it's long as it was, and those were just pretty much the big plays that had to get in there. But there you go. Final score, 73-59 on Heisman. Uh, here's some of my other videos from last year because I don't have any NCAA 13s others. There's the BCS National Championship featuring a game cam that I played in Offline Dynasty multi-user. And yes, I'm Psychic. Your next question, how to make a multi-user dynasty? Click that bottom video if you want to see how to do that because I have the answer. Make sure you comment and like this video so it gets viral and everyone watches it and enjoys it like you have. Follow me on the social networks. That information should be in the description below. Subscribe to my channel for this and more stuff coming out soon and keep gaming.